The East End Long Look community will observe its 60th Emancipation Festival activities starting with boat races on Sunday, August 2nd. The opening ceremony is set for Monday, August 3rd at the Yvette Penn Festival. Sean Rose got an update from Chairperson of the East End Long Look Festival Committee, Sandra Potawarkin, about plans for this year's activities. I'm standing at the Yvette Goosey Pen Festival Village booth and she says keep the fun clean for Festival 2015. Of course, the East End Long Look Festival uh, is named in her honor this year. This is the 60th year of celebrations for the East End community. Yes, it's the 61st for the national, the territory-wide celebrations, but for East End it's the 60th. And we're going to have a chat with Sandra Potter. She's chairperson for the East End Long Look Festival Committee to hear to hear what the committee has in store for this year, taking into consideration they now have a new location and other exciting activities. The new site is in the area that we in the Eastern Long Look area would call Brackwell. Some know it as Brackwell. As a kid, I know it as colloquially we would say Palm Mouth, Pond Mouth. For some, it's called Long Swamp. But uh, to be able to, to distinguish it for people, a general landmark might be to say it's in the vicinity of the new Eastern Long Look post office. We're going to have some VIP parking down in the back of the field, what we consider VIP parking. And generally the public will be able to park, not blocking the street of course, but where they can find space to tuck in. In this general area out here they'll be able to park. And we've also thought about possibly getting a shuttle that will take us from the old festival site and bring people down to the down to the new field for about a dollar fee. It's also a very breezy area, quite comfortable. Tell us about the, uh, the plans though for completing the construction of the village and what are the cultural activities and entertainment activities we can look forward to this year. Okay, well as you can see we're still full mode in construction. Uh, boots are going up, uh, the field is being readied, the fencing is being put in, the stage is being constructed. The uh, quarry waste has been put down. Uh, electricity is still not in place. Water is still not in place, but we're confident that everything is going to be put in place in good time for Monday. So um, everything is still a work in progress, but we're going to get through in time for Monday. And coming on Sunday, the, before the festival events themselves start, we have the boat races and the beach bash at Long Bay Beef Island. So we're going to have our opening ceremony on Monday and then we're going to have entertainment in the village. Uh, Monday night is dubbed our reggae night. A number of the local reggae artists like Sister Joyce, Ritical, Shine Eye and so on. Um, we're also going to have two Jamaican artists as the headliners, dancehall artist Cargo, and we're going to have the legendary Morgan Heritage. So they're going to take the stage on Monday. Tuesday is going to be what we call our soccer night. Uh, again, a number of the local artists are going to be in place. Local bands, of course, and local artists. And the headliners for Tuesday night are going to be uh, Nadia Batson, the legendary Crazy, the Nanny Wine Man. We have Farmer Nappy, um, Fireman Hooper, favorite out of St. Vincent, and a couple others along with the local bands by Primetime and so on. After that, Tuesday goes directly into the Rise and Shine morning. Always a big time in Eastern Long Look. The band chosen, it's a big debate, which band, which band, which band. So we've decided this year we're going with the Poison, the Venomous Poison Band. And the big question, obviously, again, too, is the route. Last year, because of the issues with the road, we were forced to go to that direction, go to, um, go past the police station and go down, and then come back up and go up. This year, we're going to leave the village, go into Greenland circumvent the old festival site and then come back and go to the east and come back into the village and after that is finished at about nine ten o'clock we're going to be back in the village we've realized it doesn't make sense trying to start the parade at 10 o'clock 11 o'clock after the tram the people are going to be tired they're going to go home they're going to go to sleep there are those that will be out though waiting the parade so while they're waiting for the parade we've decided we're going to do a number of games here within the village games that we knew as children you know the three-legged races the sack races egg and spoon we have some that we've come up with ourselves husband and wife ball and chain that's going to be something to see and the parade is going to start between two and three o'clock we're being realistic we're not going to try and say earlier right. and it doesn't happen it's going to be cooler at that time so as well so we figure that's going to be more comfortable for the people after we're finished with the games then they can go along the parade route and watch the parade come down we have quite a number of entries 
but most of them are from the Eastern Long Look Village. We've realized as well over the years that after people have done the parade bit in town all day on August Monday, they're just too tired, they don't want to do it again. So we've realized the wisdom in trying to create our own troops, which is what we've invested in this year. So we have a number of entries from the Eastern Long Look area, bands and DJs and so on. So we expect to have a good parade as well on August Wednesday. And then the village is going to be shut down later in the evening. We're going to have um, local Fungi bands. We highlight them usually on the Wednesday. Uh, Showtime and the Spectrum Band are going to close out the evening for us on Wednesday. And um, we're going to have the Festival of Culture and Praise at the Stick It on that Sunday, starting at about maybe 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, um, you know, highlighting the contributions of the Nottinghams to the freedom that we are celebrating today, not just 181 years, but way, way back, a lot further than that, actually 239 years from 1776 till now. So that's going to be the highlight that's going to top it all off for the festival, at least for us at Eastern Longlook. Great. So the history of the territory is also coming to light in this the 60th uh, Eastern Emancipation Festival activities. And of course, you just heard it from the chairperson of the Eastern Long Look Festival Committee, Sandra Potter. Sean Rose live from Eastern for JTV News.